all right so what is going on today youtube welcome back welcome back we are starting off the week right we're going to be playing that vendra deck again because uh yeah we we did really good with it and uh we have opened up what to get a pre prep but we have opened up yuna zombie so that is kind of bad let's start off with well since we don't need really this yeah, we, we we got some good plays here folks i think i'm gonna start off with a vendra knight and then with vendra knights i can ditch go zuki all right and ditch go zuki and search something i believe so so let's let's pre-prep Let's pre-prep, let's get this, and we get the uh, Slayer. Um, there's a way we can get both on the board. We can start with the Vendred Knights. And we can Vendred Knights and ditch, like I said, Kozuki to search. Um, hmm, when I got Revenants last time, it was bad. May get, maybe good this time, so we're gonna start off with Revenants. So what we're gonna do is we're going to ditch Kozuki, and we're gonna search off Air One Residents. But a revenant, but it looks oh it doesn't have anything. Got it. That's cool. We can search off revenants right here. And then we could normal summon this young Yuna zombie. You can use this. So now what we could oh actually we can get we can get both on the field. Looks like he has a ghost ogre though. Oh, he does not. Um well this is gonna kind of suck because we have to get rid of, rid of our unizombie but it's it's going to be all right it's going to be all right we're going to have some things to do this is actually a really good love oh, there you go there goes the ghost order okay so with that being said hmm i can't send mizuki but if i send mizuki it's going to be a bad time for us but what i can do is i can just go omega and then mizuki my yeah but then again what's name is banished we are not going to be doing good. We could just send a Vendra Core to banish for Revenants. But then again, we won't be able to get nothing off. Um, I could send Hound Horde and get that going. But that's that's bad. No, that's just, that's just all bad. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to going to do the the good play. We're going to have to get rid of our Unizavi, which is um, the bad part of that. It really is the bad part because then, you know, we won't not going to be able to really um really get it back right now for this time being this is a really risky play this is a real risky play that gold soaker was pretty tough um this is a real real risky play matter of fact i don't even know if i'm gonna okay well that's well that's cool well see if he didn't go Soger, i was gonna send hound horde and then we were gonna able to get uh we was gonna be able to get hound hound horde and revenant on a slayer with an omega so we would have been real good but you know we ran to a ghost sucker didn't know why he didn't do it on this but we did get the win all right be right back we're gonna get another duel all righty folks we are back with the second duel how was you guys this weekend mine's good hope you guys did enjoy that young uh hopefully you guys did enjoy that um <sighs> that young uh whatever you call it <laughs> The young uh, pack opening, uh, first video. So if you guys do like the camera and stuff like that, all right. So with this hand, um, this is terrible because once again we don't have a a ritual spell, I and mean, this is the bad part of the deck. It looks like we're playing probably monarch or something like that. So that's not really a problem. What we can do here is. Uh, I guess we could just start off with the regular combo. We would be good with that, but I feel like this. this I feel like this is a cool move to start off with. I was about to say, what, what the, what's going on here? I'm going to start off with our Omega play. Does, we don't really have anything else to do. Um, I kind of really want to throw Full Force Virus and stuff like that back in here, but. Um, I don't think we, we, we do have the room, but you know, we gotta we gotta see we gotta see what our opponent is doing here Not what our opponent is doing, but we got to see the deck. I'm um, after this. So he sets one card one card being set is fine Two cards being set is absolutely fine. I need you to be like down to three. All right So it looks like he's playing some type of chain burn deck 
We're going to find out. No, he's playing true Dracos, which is a fairly, fairly big problem because, uh, oh, there we go. We are we're in the books now, folks. No, 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 not, not that guy. It's okay. We can bait him out. We can just black rose the field. It doesn't look like he has a monster. So basically, I'm going to get the Omega back and then I'm going to attempt to black rose the field. You have a Carter Demise? You're good, bro. You're a good individual, man. Well, I, I didn't know what I was playing. There's nothing really you can do about that. He has a card of demise. Hopefully, you drew three monsters. Um, that'd be good for me. There's an upstart. All right, we're at 9,000. He's not taking any damage for two turns. But since we have access to a ritual spell now, what we can do is we can, you know, terraform for the what's name, discard the Vendra at night. She searched the ritual spell. But first, we're going to attempt to Black Rose. If he stops us, we're still going to be able to get a playoff, but um, he, he, you know, he, magical mallet. What, what, what is going on here? He, he did draw multiple monsters, but um, yeah, he, he uh, yeah, he, uh, he, he did that. He did, he did that. Okay, so I'm guessing you, you have to get masterpiece because I'm pretty sure this. Is, I mean, if you're playing these cards right here, magical mallet and one day of peace, pretty sure. You're not the greatest of true Draco players. I'm thinking you're just a new beginner and you're just seeing, oh, I can draw a masterpiece. Um, and I believe that's what, what he's going for. He's going to draw a card. Like I said, I feel like that's what he's going to be doing. Panditi. Oh, wow. Oh, God. He drew. Uh, he drew the one up. That is this. That's awesome. That is real awesome. Not, not the one up, but he drew the monarch spell and trap. Where you're getting Prime Monarch. I don't. He must already have one. And that's that's the only reason I can suggest. I mean, think that that's the reason what happened. But um, yeah, it doesn't look like Black Rose is happening anytime soon. But I believe. Uh, what does this say? No cards in your extra deck negate the effect of all face those monsters in the field while those monsters are face up on the field, except tribute summon monsters. So, um, sadly, we don't have another sage. I mean, solitaire. I mean, another target for solitaire because there there would be a way that I can bring this out. Pretty much, I, I can basically get a slayer off, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to because can activate his effect. No, oh, never mind. I was I was thinking nonsense just now. Wait, once per turn, they can't be destroyed by battle. Right. All right. So let's just bait out. The um, let's just bait out the black. I mean, this is baited out right now. So, Mark erupts. He didn't even give me a chance to do it. Okay, well, that's completely fine with me. Just gonna go right on over here. Gonna activate this. So let's see what happens now. Want to get this ritual sanctuary. Sadly, we can't activate this Ventura Knights. It would have been nice if we could have. What happens if this leaves the field? You spell summon a true king. Monster from your deck in defense position. Okay, so let's see what he's going to do now. Um, I mean, you just can't. You just, this is awful. We have no way to literally get rid of what's the name. So that's going to be awful. We have no way to get rid of a uh, diagram. We have no way to get rid of this. But he's going to be able to keep normal summoning and keep tribute summoning. So that's going to be kind of a big, big problem. What is in the graveyard? There's that. Let's see what we can do here. Because this negates anything that's faced up on the field. So Summon Slayer, let's tribute this guy in the one from the hand. And for free, I guess we'll just get a free Sturgis by revealing another Slayer. And this is all right. If we draw what's the name, we're able to do some good things. But uh, yeah, so let's, let's attack with 28. True Draco. Okay, that's fine. This doesn't look like it's going to be fantastic for us, folks. Looks like this is going to be another one of them duels where you just, you just have no chance, man. We just have no chance, and uh, we uh, probably should have tried to crash with that. All right, let's end our turn. Um, there's nothing really we can do. Probably going to give this about one more turn. 
because uh, we can't play around skill drains. Oh, I probably should have did that, huh? Um, well, it's, on, it's the only one he could do. So, I mean, we want to give it about one more turn. Besides that, uh, there's just nothing else that we can do. Um, he, he just drew perfectly. There's just nothing really we can do about that. Um, he, he drew, he drew a what's the name? What do you call it? He drew a, uh, damn it, I can't, I'm trying to think. You have three in here? Uh, he drew the one of, I mean, not one of, but he drew it, he drew a tenacity. So I have to tell you, you know, let's, let's just do this. There's just no reason to play. I don't even think I have an out to a back row. Be right back. Now, all right, we're going to go in for one more duel because, I mean, there's nothing we can do about a skill drain being faced up that you can't really out. And um, here we go. We're, we're starting off decent, but this is not the greatest fans. Um, this is, once again, not the greatest of hands. Uh, hmm. Well, what I can do, I can terraforming for sure. Get the Vindred Knights. This is not this is not a very very good hand, but we're gonna have to play with it. This is just this is not good. Um, we have to actually search a Slayer. Slayer is the best one to get, so that's why I want to search him. And then uh, activate this, and then we get rid of the pre prep to search our origin. And uh, <laughs> this is our best play. And this is this is the de facto reason of why Vendrez are just they're just not capable of being any type of good deck. Um, is because of stuff like this. This is just like look look at my field. I have two cards, and the best thing I can do is get rid of one. Like that's this is exactly the reason. Like I, I don't know. I like I, I just I, there's nothing else we can really do. I mean, we try and try. We can try to try and try and try to build, you know, the best Vendred deck. But at the end of the day, you know, even though Breakthrough Sanctuary did allow me to get to that and all that, that's all fine and dandy. But there's no way to get multiple Vendreds. Um, this is not a good deck in general. <laughs> it just really isn't a good deck. Um, but we are doing decent with it. Um... Do I want to use this? Uh, I'm not going to do that because that feels like that's terrible. Um, but yeah, man, we 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 did decent. This is okay. This is um, I don't even know what to call this. This is just pitiful. <laughs> this is really bad, man. <laughs> we are left with nothing after one turn. Like we're left with absolutely nothing. Um, that's completely fine. I don't know why you're setting back row against me, but I guess we get rid of it. Um, don't tell me you have a ghost orca. That's going to piss me off. Royal Decree. Never seen that. Oh, there we go. We top deck the Unizombie. Um, all right. So here's an easy way of doing this. Um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to do this the easy way, but it's not the smartest thing to do. I mean, it, it is the smartest thing to do. It's the only thing we can do. So we're going to attempt to attack. He's probably not going to banish, thinking that, oh. I mean, if he knows Vendred, he's going to tribute this. He doesn't know Vendred. All right. So that's good for us. We can banish that. Activate that. We can go ahead and pop that. That can't respond. We lose the battle. But it's all right. We can do this. Um, And then, you know, oh. Since we know what we're playing, we technically have to lose the Unizombie right now. Because what we can do is... This is a very, very tough choice. I don't know if I should keep. There's absolutely no reason to do this. Um, Let's go Underclock Taker. Or I can go Akashic. Which one is... I think I'm gonna save Akashic for later. But we're gonna go with this. This is just so helpful right now. I'm gonna activate the Slayer. Add this. We're gonna dump Revenants right now. 
use Mizuki. You guys already know what play is happening, so I shouldn't have to tell you guys what's happening. But this is yeah, this is this is pretty much Vendreth, man. This is uh, we're trying. You, you see how bad I'm struggling, and this is why I you know this is exactly why I don't play one unit zone. This is this is the reason. This is exactly the reason. Um, but like I said, on Saturday it was working pretty smoothly. We never came into those type of problems. But here, oh, okay, well that's um, you know what? That's that's actually pretty fine. I, I don't I don't mind that. That's cool if you want to. Um, it's once you oh necroface. That's that's thank you thank you for that. Well look well look it did not matter once again. Uh, <laughs> saved by my opponent. <laughs> saved by my opponent. That is uh. <laughs> Oh, I just, I don't know why he's playing Necroface. I guess for the to return the Dragon Lord's back, I guess. I, I have no clue. Why is this not once per turn? I mean, during the other player's turn. That would have been a lot better. Uh, but him putting that back in the deck actually helps out. Now, that kind of makes me think, should we play Necroface? No, we should not. Um, yeah, we should definitely shouldn't be playing Necroface because, uh, once again, that's another normal summon that we'll have to uh, commit to. And that's just not what this deck is all about. There's no way to can I still haven't drawn Vendred Charge. Like I still what do you have in your hand that you continue to want to drop? I know you're not playing Trag. Is it that one blue eyes card that when you take damage you specials? I think it is. I think it's either that or Tra Tragodia. I, I I have no clue what this man is doing. Um I have just no clue at all. Kinda really want to play Okay, well that's completely fine. I mean that's not really doing anything right now but you know all right there we go we get a quick surrender all right folks so here is the deck list once again we played this on saturday worked pretty smooth today wasn't the best but i mean we can't really judge it going off of uh what do you call it uh going off of playing against you know true dracos and stuff like that but i do know that it was a comment that was left that said take out a pre-prep to add another unizombie because you know uh, pe people love the unizombie so that's what we're going to do here we're going to try it out with two which i would prefer two or more but we're going to see because in that instant we were done for with unizombies and pretty much half the deck was shut off because we have no other tuners so pretty much all this was shut off just because we didn't have access to this and that's why i really caution not playing only one um because you would always your unizombie is technically a power card somewhat um, because it gets it facil facilitates a lot of plays and you can dump any zombie which is just amazing but yeah that's it for today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys do like the uh if you do like the video and stuff like that go ahead and hit subscribe go ahead and if you want to support the channel click and add or if you guys want to you know further support the channel go ahead and go to my patreon and click uh the link to go ahead and donate um you know we got about 20 wait, i don't know if it's february 20th um, or, it's, you know, I, I don't, it's one of these, it's, I know it's in the 20s. So, um, after that, there's no more ads on my channel. So then, uh, the little money that I am getting from, you know, the stuff like that, it, it ceases to exist. Um, but like I said, I mean, it just helps out. We need to get a hundred subscribers in like 10 days. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to try to. Yeah. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Be right back. Stay tuned.